Well, good morning. I wonder if you've ever been caught up in something interesting and forgotten to have a meal. It can happen perhaps when you're weeding or pruning, maybe not. Sometimes for me, if I'm deeply engrossed in a conversation or preparing a sermon, I'm really interested in the stuff and I can look at the clock and think, oh, it's two o'clock, I've forgotten my lunch. Well, the other day I was walking home from the church building and it was a hot day, I was feeling quite tired and some, suddenly a phrase came to me which made me look up and smile. <laughs> it was about from that same story that we've been looking at, Jesus at the well with the woman. Jesus was at the well, deep in conversation from this woman from Samaria. He was offering her living water and explaining about worshipping God. He'd seen her response. She said, ran and found her friends and said, come and see a man who's told me everything I've ever done. Can it be the Messiah? And Jesus was sitting there on his own, having just done this. Where were the disciples? Well, they had gone into the city, or the town rather, to buy some food. And they came back and they urged him to eat something. Eat something, teacher, they said. And then it was Jesus' reply that struck me. He said, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. And the disciples thought, well, has somebody brought him a meal? Has someone been into the local takeaway and found something for him? And Jesus said, no, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. I think that's really profound, that Jesus finds satisfaction above all in doing the Father's will. What sort of work did he mean? Well, Jesus went on to say, the fields are ripe for harvesting. But Jesus wasn't about to set out with his scythe and cut down the grain. No, he meant harvesting people. He was really satisfied in what he was doing sharing the good news. Well, just then a crowd began to gather because the woman had gone to bring people out to meet Jesus. And as they listened, they too found he is the saviour of the world. Jesus' work was already having an effect. It was bearing fruit. Jesus knew that God the Father had sent him into the world with a specific purpose, to bring people back to him, ultimately through dying on the cross, but also about talking about them to them about God's love. And doing the Father's will gave him inner strength. How about us? Let's just think for a minute about Jesus. Picture him talking to people about the love of God and knowing that's just what he's come to do. And all through the centuries, as each person listens to Jesus and turns to God, that brings blessing to the Lord. That's fruit from his work, even today. And when the Lord encourages you or me to do something for him, perhaps to pray, to visit, to give, that in itself can also be food and nourishment for us, just as it was for Jesus. In giving, we receive. What a blessing. Lord, today, help us to see what you would like us to do. Help us to find our food in obeying you. Amen. Teach me, my God and King, in all things thee to see, and what I do in anything, to do it as for thee.